Hello and welcome to another episode of VMblog's ongoing coverage of KubeCon and Cloud Native 2020 digital event. Today I have the pleasure of having Alyssa Leiden and Kunal Jain of Sauce Labs with us. Welcome. Hi, happy to be here again. Hello. We're glad to have you guys. It's been it's been a year since we last uh, uh, had a, a discussion with you guys video wise at, at KubeCon last year. So maybe uh, as a refresher, if you guys could just kick things off and give us a, a quick background and overview of the company. Yeah. Yeah, I can take that one. So um, Sauce Labs uh, for the past 12 years has been building and providing uh, the world's most comprehensive and leading continuous testing cloud. We believe we provide uh, the most comprehensive, scalable, um, and easy to use solution for development and uh, QA teams to deliver quality applications to their users faster and help uh, create digital confidence uh, within uh, organizations that are now increase, more and more increasingly relying on those digital experiences. And obviously there's been a major shift this year with the way that we're working and attending trade shows. Um, how has that affected your company and how it operates? And what changes have you seen your customers making to adapt to this new work from home? Yeah, I think um, adapt is probably the key word there. We've definitely had to uh, learn to exist in this new normal, um, but uh, I'm, I'm super pleased uh, with how we at Sauce have really pivoted. Um, we've always believed in the strength of our community of testers and developers. Um, and it was more, more apparent than ever with our pivot with our annual user conference SauceCon to a, a digital online only event back in May. Um, and we had over 5,000 registrations. So I think the the change, while it's been an adjustment, we've had to get used to it and you know figure out how to how to get people excited about sitting on a Zoom call for for hours at a time. Um, it's good to see the community come out in strong numbers, both in our events and other conferences that that we've been a part of. Um, just really seeing the strength of the community and everyone really wants to learn from each other, even if it's virtual. Yeah, I agree. It's. Uh... It's, it's definitely been a strange situation, but I think everybody that we've talked to, everyone's kind of made the best of it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those things, but we've uh, persevered and technology has helped. Uh, yeah. You know, we've, we've seen a lot of growth since the last time we spoke uh, in both cloud containers and the Kubernetes industry. What big changes or directions do you see for the industry moving forward into 2021? Yeah, absolutely. Sauce Labs was at KubeCon last year, um, and we started really testing the waters of that message around uh, empowering developers with access to testing, to, to fast and easy testing. And it was all around the context of the shift left movement, right? Moving testing from beyond its traditional place at the end of the pipeline to, to earlier in the process. And I think a year later, it's safe to say that that trend is now just commonly accepted as kind of mission critical for a lot of organizations that want to modernize their delivery pipeline. Developers now more than ever are required just to do more testing, but to own more responsibility for the quality of the code that they create. Um, and so we're seeing a real proliferation of different frameworks and tools and processes um, that are really helping developers embrace the shift as kind of the new norm. So maybe we could jump back into your company's technology and maybe give us kind of a deeper dive into your solutions. Um, maybe explain what problems does your software solve? Yeah, so I would say uh, historically Sauce Labs has uh, been a platform that really allows for increase in testing coverage and increases in scale, right, to help teams move faster through the quality process. Um, I would say that some of the biggest innovations in our platform that we're seeing that we're really excited about is expanding that ability from just beyond your traditional QA team and really becoming a more flexible and, uh, and scalable platform for developers as well. And the best proof point for that we have is the introduction of our new test runner toolkit, which allows developers to execute tests in the environment that they want, using the framework that they want and scaling at the, at the needs that, that they require. Um, so they can get fast feedback on the quality of their code, all while unifying those signals with other types of test signal in the pipeline. 
And when you guys talk to, uh, you know, prospects or, or potential new customers, how do you describe your technology in a way to, you know, say what's unique or what's differentiated about what you offer? Yeah, I would point to, um, again, just the flexibility um, and the coverage. So imagine you have developers who have their own sets of tools that they like to use. You have QA who have their own sets of tools they like to use. Maybe you have business testers like product managers um, or, or someone else who wants to use their own type of process for testing. Sauce Labs is kind of that one-stop shop that allows you to test the way you want to test um, and make sure that you are delivering the best experience to your users, whether you have a web app, mobile app, both. Um, so that way you ensure that you provide uh, the best user experience to your customers. Around this time, you know, at KubeCon, everybody announces new features or product releases. Has Sauce Labs uh, announced anything lately that you're coming out with or new features that you could share with us to talk about? Yeah, absolutely. I'll go back to that test runner toolkit. Um, we think it's a really exciting development in the world specifically of development testing. Um, again, providing the flexibility to run in a multiple in multiple different kinds of frameworks, different execution options. It's really a big innovation in the Sauce Labs platform and really speaks to how we're modernizing our approach to testing to help meet the needs of uh, evolving development organizations. And then finally, can you give us a quick demo of the product so viewers at home can you know, see what it looks like? Absolutely. Um, for that, I'd like to pass it off to my colleague, Kunal Jain, who is actually the, uh, the product manager for this, this new and exciting feature. Great. Hi, this is Kunal. I'm happy to give you a demo of uh, the toolkit which you were talking about. Cool, so what you see over here um, to access our toolkit, you can come to the Sauce Labs Test Runner Toolkit page. It's on GitHub, it's an open source project. So you can just follow the steps along. Um, all you need is a Docker image or like a Docker uh, installation on your machine. Um, and you need a Sauce Labs account to start working on it. It's pretty simple. Um, you need to go on NPM install. Um, I'll show you these steps on the terminal, but you need to just follow the NPM install or the brew install. Um, and from there, once you have your username password sort of set up, um, you can start running the command line and also start seeing the results within Sauce Labs. So as we were talking about it, it's just npm install minus g sauce control. Once I install sauce control, um, you will see that you have sauce control on your command line. So you can go in sauce control. It's a pretty handy tool which gives you access to the different frameworks which we are supporting through source control. So once you do source control, you can do source control new since we are running it for the first time. It's going to ask you on which framework you want to use. So um, as Alyssa sort of mentioned, we are making the tool in a way which is agnostic to these frameworks. Uh, but our start is the famous, the four, I would say the, the biggest used JavaScript frameworks which are out there. Um, which is a Puppeteer, Playwright, Test Cafe, and Cypress. So let's say folks are interested in Cypress, we want to install Cypress. So as soon as I do that, um, I have selected the default framework to be Cypress in this case. Um, this is pretty much where you want to post results. So as when you actually create a Sauce Labs login, you need to um, tell us which data center you want to use. So that's the choice which we're asking for here. Um, since I'm based in US West, I'm going to pick up US West. Uh, and that's it, like you are at this point ready to run your Cypress test. And what the command line is doing for you is creating a scaffolding project, which it is going to help you um, understand how Cypress works. So we are going to do a source control run. Um, we basically, since it's a new um, fresh installation, it's going to do download the Docker container, set up the project and start running the first test for you. So you can see quickly um, how it sort of jumps in to the execution part. So I'm going to be that quick for you because the first time it's going to download the Cypress image, Cypress image which is a bit big, um, but once it goes through that process, uh, you'll see the same steps coming back. From here, um, we are running our first test. So you will see like it opens Cypress, it goes in, um, it has downloaded the Docker container, it executes that test and posts the test results back to Sauce Lab. So that's where it gets pretty neat where you can actually use your command line to post results back directly to source and get all the quality signals back into a single place. So let me jump into source to show you how it looks. Cool. 
So again, like I just ran this test. So if I go back to the dashboard, you will see the DevX test, uh, Cypress test is right here a minute ago. I can jump in um, and you can start seeing all uh, the videos which are getting generated as part of this test. So you can quickly get in, you can view the test that it ran, even though the test was running headless, um, it was on a dockerized container environment. We are still capturing all the artifacts which are relevant to the tests. You can go into the logs. Um, you can see the different logs that are coming back. You can see all the metadata that is getting uploaded. Um, and again, like as sort of as I was mentioning, it's just bringing all the quality signals into a single place. So you can have all these different um, test executions getting done, but you can come into the Sauce Labs to view all those test results quickly. Great, thanks for that demo. Um... Where can people go if they want to find out more information about Sauce Labs and some of the things you discussed today? Well, for the toolkit, I would say definitely go to that GitHub repo page that Kunal put up there during his demo. But um, even if you are using the, the test runner toolkit, um, you'll also need access to a Sauce Labs account to be able to view those results. So I would say go to saucelabs.com where you can sign up for a 30 day free trial um, and you can get started today. Great. Well, Great. appreciate it. We uh, thank you both for taking time out to speak with VM blog and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get to see you in person at some time soon. Fingers crossed. Hoping to go to another, I couldn't, can't say, I've never thought I'd say I'd miss conferences so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's all of us. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from our cloud technology partners, please hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, and if you want to get notified next time we post a video, please hit the subscribe and the bell notification. Very important.